Hey guys and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we do have a version 1.1 for the Snowbreak first year anniversary tier list. Um, not much of a change in the tier list but I'd like you guys to reflect on some of the things that I'd like to discuss here. Um, gonna go over the tier list um, quickly. Not much again of a change except uh, for those who are kind of affected by the arrival of uh, Fanny SS. So, again, beginning with the Tier 3, it's still going to be Haru, Nita, and Enya. No change there. Um, uh, before I proceed, guys, you can actually view this tier list um, after, even, you know, um, after I have finished this video. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out and for you to basically um, go over again anytime you wish to have it available. Okay, so we have Aru, Nita, and Enya. I don't think they're going to be going up anytime, <laughs> even though Fenny Starshine is out. So moving up to Tier 2, again, there's no change apart from one of the operative going up to Tier 1. Um, so, so far, this is going to be it. Um, I don't see any movement in the future here unless some of the supports really give value to that specific operative. So, we go to Tier 1. Okay, Tier 1, the movement that I mentioned was actually Fenny, uh, for star Fenny. Because again, if you use her with her future self, Fanny Starshine, uh, she's going to be doing better, actually. And she is viable now, especially for free-to-play, for beginners who are climbing the ladder and who wish to start now. Fanny's going to give you more value now than she has before because of Fanny Starshine. Again, her twin. So, more or less... She is now a tier 1. The rest are the same in terms of their positions um, classified. Uh, the, the left side would be more on your DPS. Uh, the right side would be more on your support. So I don't think there's going to be movement um, in terms of the tier. Fanny, however, 4-star is going to move up or is in tier 1. So moving up to tier 0, 5. Um, there wasn't any movement actually when Fenny SS came out except for Yao Winter Solstice. Um, she gets, you know, she, she gets a viable increase, but she's not, she, she's, no, she, she gets an increase because of Fenny Starshine. But in terms of DPS, um, I don't think she matches the current, you know, the current top or tier zero of the bunch. Um, she wouldn't have, um, she, I don't think she would have a big impact even if Fanny Starshine is added to the roster. So for me, the more bullets you have actually with Fanny Starshine, the more benefit you'll be getting. The less bullets you have, the less impact because again, the support skill for Fanny Starshine is or the additional ammo is dependent on the number of bullets you have like for example um 100 of i think winter solstice is just going to be what uh six so six plus six is going to be 12. unlike uh let's for example you're gonna set this as, as an example life infinite sight has 100 so if you do 100 percent, that's 200 bullets so again uh because the she's a sniper she would benefit from Fenny SS, but in terms of ammo addition, I don't think it's going to be much. So she drops from tier 0 to tier 0 0.5. So we'll be talking about a lot of things on this tier list, um, especially on what we expect moving forward, what will happen you know, one year from now, from the anniversary, or at least 1.5. But before that, the final year end probably you know tier zero would be cherno enigma life infinite sight katya blue bolt katya was a bit on the fence 
because again but she's still there she's still fun to use the damage that she brings is it really far off from from for example from from life and she's still fun to use so again she's still there i i don't see her dropping at this point probably in the future um series fanny starshine is there akasha kaguya and mauxer shadow ka so that it that rounds out your your version 1.1 so this is the tier list guys so hopefully um could do some comments on the movement um probably the comment that i'd like to hear is yao from yao users who you know have been using yao since launch she has been queen of dps up until today so again there have been a lot it's the domination has been you know has been totally i want to say totally opposite Okay, so before one point that I'd like to discuss before when we started day one, submachine guns, submachine gun operatives were at the least of you know, you know, at the least of the tier list. They weren't. They were classified as um, a poor weapon because of ricochet. But now, if you can see the top zero, three of them are submachine guns and most of them have ricochet mechanics already which ricochet goes back as a benefit to the operative so again it has been a big change sub deep um submachine guns were not really a, you know were not really a trend when we started now they are a trend and they are dominating tier zero one in fact is a support unit which has the best support uh weapon probably for supports which um shadow ka has so that has been a difference and going into the other side of you know what i was going to be explaining um um for winter solstice it's gonna go, go back to that thought she dominated dps for quite a while uh, even after Katya was there, first time Katya came out, up until recently, she was really a very viable DPS. But now most of the teams are going on speed runs already. And uh, again, Fenny Star Shines, um, probably support level for her is not as big as those who have larger larger submachine gun so again um for yao it's gonna be a drop hopefully she doesn't drop more because again beginners will want to use her and also my other question is are we expecting another dps unit for sniper it's, it's gonna be it has been a long time since we had a viable sniper in in you know as dps so for now we we do have yao and yao as a healer then test the magician test technically is not really a, uh, she, she she's not really a damage dealer and her sniper isn't built for damage so again um there will be another sniper um operative for dps in the future i'm sure of it uh because the top doesn't have any sniper user or operative anymore each gun is basically represented you have your submachine gun you have your um you have your pistol you have your rifle you have your shotgun and the rest went down so basically which comes to my point power creep really has a lot of influence in any game in this game as you can see the the launch characters that we were rooting for fanny's here we have here yao who else we have here um life wild hunt most of them have gone down uh, especially fanny coronet and uh yao they have been top you know both were queens really of dps they can actually still hold their own but nothing beats the top zero at this point and you know in my opinion so again power creep is very real that's the third point in this discussion and um 
I want to go back to our lovely four stars here. Um, it's a shame that they haven't rolled out any four stars. I hope that they do develop more, more four star characters, especially for those who are free to play and um, are low spenders. Four stars are very valuable in this game that I'm sure we still keep on using them, especially for Chen Sheng, Yao, as healers, as supports. Fenny is actually has gone up, and we have Akasha for tier one. For tier two, the most viable, I think, that uh, I think for me, if you really want to have utility, is going to be Ceres and Frisia. So life doesn't have uh, four star life doesn't have much to you know in terms of DPS. She isn't much of a support. So uh, Frisia and Ceres, I think, would be good. Also here, Marion and Cherno. So um, again, four star has value. I will go into more in depth four star guide for beginners. For those who want to build their four stars and have just started the game, I'm gonna do that. And last on the list, I'd like you, you know, I'd like to um, talk about this. Um, when the game launched, DPS was really, you know, uh, DPS operatives were really valued to a point that supports were, you know, were not really considered much. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot. Akasha Kagui is still there at tier zero because she was well built. Again, my point is Akasha Kaguya, I don't think will be dropping anytime soon. And supports are worth really the investment. If you've invested in her previously, you really won't regret investing in other supports like Fanny Starshine, like Mauxer Shadowka. So my point is invest more in supports because Again, DPS operatives have a very volatile tenure in the tier list because of power creep again. it w I won't say it would happen um, after year 2 or after 1.5, but definitely it's a possibility that some of these operatives will not be here anymore. And these three will still be here. So mark my word. Uh, supports are going to be of most value heading into year two. I tell you that because not only do supports support uh, whales, they support free to play as well. If you can remember, Fanny Starshine is free and Enya Exuvia is free. So they are two of the best supports in the game and they are free. So can't wait for the next free operative. Probably in 1.5, they'll be giving out another one. Um, as you can, you know, supports are the way to go, guys. DPS, there's a lot to choose from, but supports will really have a core of supports that we will go to every now and then. And I will talk about supports in the future in another video. So that would be it. Again, guys, if you want to see a copy of this um, 1.1 anniversary tier list, an updated copy please do check out the description of this video because i'll be placing it there so thank you very much guys your comments are as usual appreciated and take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here